What's up guys? Welcome to this video. I hope y'all are having a wonderful Wednesday or whatever day this video finds you. But right now we're heading back from the grocery store. We're going to talk about the septic system today. This guy... The black tube. The tube. Not buzz. Not, yeah. not that too. He has some pretty good plans. Uh, him and his dad drew up some plans for our septic system at our home base, which is what we call it. Finally using our toilet. So if you have been following this journey, you know that we have not been utilizing the toilet in the trailer because we don't have anywhere to dump it and we don't want to take it out several times per week to dump our black water when we can just use the bathroom that's right inside the house. We're going to sit down and show you guys the plans that we have for the septic system that they're actually going to be putting in themselves. I might help. <laughs> Hi poops. Good boys. Hi poopies. Good boys. <laughs> and you close it on them. We're going to show you guys those plans and, <laughs> and so it's going to be something that's going to take weeks. So yeah, we're going to talk to you guys about it because this channel is now about our honesty with all of this, as y'all know. So this is the next big step that we have going on here at our home base. So let's get these groceries unloaded. Let's get the puppies inside. I don't even know what they're doing over there. Hey! Hi! Oh my god. Hi, Buzz Buzz! Hi, Buzz Buzz! Hi! Oh, goodness, hi! Okay, Buzz, you get to go in first. You ready? Come here, Brady. Brady. No, come here. Right here. Brady, come here. Oh no. My god. <laughs> No. Okay, Come both of y'all just sit. No, no, hey. no. Hey, sit. I want him over here. So. Okay, stay. 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 <laughs> stay. Well, I might as well. Oh. I guess you. <laughs> So here is our little grocery haul for today. We got lots and lots of spinach, obviously. A head of cabbage, which these are 42 cents. That's crazy. Some green apples. And then we got some pears. Sweet potatoes. Grapes. These look delicious. That's a ton of grapes. We got some work to do. Frozen strawberries. Frozen blueberries. Frozen zucchini, because I don't eat this stuff fast enough, but I do love zucchini. These mini sweet peppers. Delicious. Really, really good with hummus. I got some hummus dip with garbanzo beans, lots and lots of those, black beans, refried beans, bread, tofu, cashew milk, protein nut milk. Matt got his Red King beer in honor of Game of Thrones. Veggie broth, this is my little chemical flavoring section. So I've got this cold brew coffee, which this is really, really good. And these stevia drops, delicious to add into coffee and oatmeal this calorie free french vanilla coffee creamer and some water flavors and then I got this sweet cup because I poured myself some coffee on the way home. So that's our little grocery haul. We're gonna put this away and then we're gonna talk about poop. Poop. I feel like that's kind of a, a reoccurring topic on our channel. Why is that? We have the maturity level of 12 year olds. And so do you. And you laugh at it. <laughs> no, but I think that in the RV life as many people have commented, normally your poop goes somewhere, but in the RV, you have to deal with your own poop. Yeah. Just a way of life, you, you know? Dump it to crump it. Dump it. Dump it to crump it. Okay, we're gonna put these away and see you guys in a second. Look, I've never showed you guys our trash can situation. That's one thing that we never really discussed before we got the RV because we didn't know what we were gonna be dealing with space wise. So, right now, trash can looks as such. It's just one of those little plastic slide out drawers that I had for a previous storage shelf. And this is our trash and this is our recycling. And we fill that up and then we take it to the bigger trash and recycling. But as of right now it works and we just go through it real fast. Real fast. And then bathroom trash is in here which we don't use a whole lot. But the little that little trash can seems to do pretty well just sitting there. We've traveled with it and it hasn't really moved so I don't want to do any type of trash can that sits out. So that could possibly be a place for it, but I don't want to add any more. Well, yeah, that's what a lot of people do. They'll bulk. Uh, bungee cord a trash can somewhere. Yeah, like but in this area well, we have a drawer here. Really oh, yeah, I guess so. Well, a lot of people do it on it's the entrance. It's also the slide out. But, but that's just in the way, and the dogs again, will dogs. run into it. I mean, I think this is, we just need to make this work. The only other thing that we could do is make this full area get like another one of these, like you said, sort of, except and do that, side by side. Bar well, it fits underneath it. But either way, yeah, we'll figure something out. But as for now, maybe it's um, more incentive for us to reduce our trash. 
the whole hashtag no waste yeah, that'd be cool. Thing. That'd be cool. I don't know. If you have any tips on that, let us know. Great. So tell us about the. Uh, so today we're building a water slide. Plan. Water septic slide. Plan. With a water slide, we want water to gradually move down, and so things can slide along with it, right? So that's kind of the idea with what we're building right now. It's uh, we want something that's gradual enough uh, that doesn't get rid of water quickly. You know, we want it to basically flow downhill slowly and then carry little tubers along with it, you know? Tubers. <laughs> and then, if you've ever been to a water park, it's the same idea. They actually pump in water in other areas too, if it's a longer slide. That's kind of the exact idea. <laughs> I'm so glad this is the equivalent of like Schlitterbahn. What's going on here, as you'll see in the overlay footage, there is a long pipe going from our RV to where the dog's pin is to the other side of the house. Basically. So the house is where the septic is, like right on the other side. So we're trying to get to that point. It all is technically downhill for the most part. We will have to kind of play around with some of the, the ground, but what we're gonna do is trench out this little area um, all the way through the dog pen. It's a good between 100 and 200 feet. Good distance, it's a lot of a lot of digging. If you've ever been in Texas, especially this part of Texas, there's a lot of rock. We're not going too far down, I hope. And so really we're just buying, you know, four inch piping with a few clean ways. Uh, so like a little like a pipe connector with a pipe that comes up where we can pour water down into it and keep flushing things down in case there is a blockage of tubers. <laughs> so if there are tubers getting caught, uh, to keep that from happening, we, we have... No, little tubers to get caught in no. that circle. No. Like I always do at Slitterbond. Because they get angry and you <laughs> have to deal with that afterwards. Gross. So, uh, to keep those tubers from getting stuck there in that piping, we will flush water down it and then move them along. <laughs> <laughs> So, that is the idea of this. We're gonna have, I think, a total of three cleanouts. So, and then of course the entry point. Our sewage hose, or the black water hose, whatever, you just hook up to the top of the... The first one. Mm -hmm. The first little cleanout, which technically is, gonna, is the entrance. Is there gonna the be thing. a covering on that? There will be a covering on that. There's gonna be a covering on each one of those cleanouts. Okay, good. And so, just making sure. If you notice that there is like a, a blockage of water, uh, so you see water kind of backing up a little bit, you just go to the cleanout, you know, check it. Shh. And then, yeah, and if that's the area that the, that the issue is uh, occurring, you just uh, get a water hose and just kind of spray it down a little bit. And... Of course, not the same hose that you use for your uh, drinking water. In fact, yeah, this is actually an entirely different hose because we are at our home base. And then it gets to the septic area where it actually is uh, an area where it's joined with the septic hookup. So we already have the plans laid out, as you see. Um, on that, that little kind of drawing that we have. Fairly accurate. It's going to be kind of at an angle, not exactly parallel with the house. And it's going to come into it and then basically hit that field perfectly, hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> hopefully. 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 <laughs> yeah. Not a lot of prayer. Make those tubers get there uh, safely. You guys are going to be along for the ride with all yeah. of this. We'll see. That's the plan. Eventually we'll be able to use our toilet while we're here. We'll have the ground breaking in two weeks. <laughs> for this thing so and then from there I don't see it taking very long because once I start something I get angry and I finish it. It's usually in that order. It's always in that order. So I'll get angry, dig a big hole, realize I messed up, get angrier and then finish the thing. And what we're gonna have, uh, we're actually gonna have a plumber come out afterwards and check our work. And it's sort of one of those things that's like I just want to do it. I like doing my own projects but then of course something like this you, you want to really make wanna sure slightly. Yeah, you want to make sure this runs properly. That's about it. <laughs> um, that's, that's the update for today. So there's, there's that. <laughs> I'm gonna go take a shower and we're gonna watch Game of Thrones and go to bed. I'm gonna conclude today's video. Hope you guys always enjoy hearing about our toilet situation. Tubers, our water our, slide. Our tubers, our water slide. Yeah. If you guys have any, I don't know, if any of y'all have any experience with something similar to this, let us know your tips below because the Lord knows we need them. Yeah. Uh, please let me know if I'm just completely just head in the clouds, like not knowing what I'm talking about here. And this should be fairly simple, but if you happen to be a plumber, please let me know. I can do it. <laughs> thank you guys for watching, as always. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thumbs up and subscribe. All of that good stuff. Yeah. Have fun out there. Bye!